Morning, everyone. Bienvenidos todos. Blessings, brothers and sisters, hermanos y hermanas, sharing the spoken written word this morning. And we give you all glory, Lord, Father, God, in the name of your Son, Jesus, for your word speaks truth for everyone that heeds your word. It is truth, Lord, Father, God. It is life. It is the light that will guide our path, Lord, Father, God, if we heed what is spoken in the name of your Son, Jesus. Brothers and sisters, the Word of God is active. As the Word states, it is active and alive. It speaks today to all who heed the voice spoken. In the book of Isaiah, it states, and this is uh, out of the chapter 42. I'll start at verse 1. Behold, my servant whom I uphold, my elect one whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the Gentiles. We are considered the Gentiles. So the spoken, written word, Lord Jesus, is whom Abba Father has sent for us. But how shall we know what path, what righteousness, what just, what things we should and should not do uh, words we should speak or not speak if we do not hear the word. We need to heed the word. Abba, Father God, sent his son for that reason. It states that I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the Gentiles. That's a blessing within that one verse, brothers and sisters. We go to verse uh, chapter 41, verses 9 and 10. You whom I have taken from the ends of the earth and called from its farthest regions, Gentiles, brothers and sisters, and said to you, you are my servant. I have chosen you and not cast you away. When we are called into the blessings that Abba Father God has sent for all people, not just the Hebrew Jewish chosen people, it states Gentiles, he sent his son for that reason. So then Abba Father calls us, you whom I have taken, from the ends of the earth and called from the furthest regions and said to you, you are my servant. We heed his word. We share the spoken word to whom he sends to us, who, who he leads in, in our paths to share the word, to share the truth, to edify the church through the spoken word. I have chosen you and not cast you away. Fear not, Abba Father speaks. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. He states it, brothers and sisters. He is whom he is. He is our God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. That's the spoken written word of our Abba Father God. It has not faltered. It has not been nulled. It is current now, brothers and sisters. It is why in the New Testament, in the New Covenant, it states, it is alive and active. He calls us out. He sent Lord Jesus to guide us 
as the ones out of the true covenant of the word. We're grafted in through the blessing. Again, brothers and sisters, this is uh, verses 1 out of chapter 42 of Isaiah, chapter 41, uh, verses 9 and 10. I leave you with the last ones out of chapter 42, the last verses, brothers and sisters, but take the time. Take the time to heed the word. He speaks to us now what we should be doing to help those lost that have yet to find truth through the spoken word. Verse 6 out of chapter 42 out of the book of Isaiah, I, the Lord, have called you in righteousness and will hold your right hand. I will keep you and give you as a covenant to the people, as a light to the Gentiles, to open blind eyes, to bring out prisoners from the prison, those who sit in darkness from the prison. I am the Lord. That is my name. And my glory I will not give to another, nor my praise to craved, carved images. Behold, the former things have come to pass, and new things I declare. Abba, Father God, declares new things through Lord Jesus. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. How does he tell, tell us now a days of these new things? Through the word. Through the spoken word, brothers and sisters. That's Abba, Father God, keeping his covenant. He loves his son. He will not ever, ever Place a shadow upon his son as a liar. Lord Jesus speaks truth because Abba Father speaks it through him. As now, because of Lord Jesus, the Spirit speaks through us, through the word, to share, to share brothers and sisters to those that are still in that dark place. It's the spoken word Lord Jesus says, Share the word to all creation, he states. That means all creation. That means humans. That means creation as in on everything that's on the earth, creatures even. That's the spoken word. Because everything is out of line due to the fall of sin. It's out of line. And through the word, it makes the path straight. As he states in Isaiah 42, Behold, the former things have come to pass, and new things I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Share the word, brothers and sisters. Share the word, for it is truth. Verse 6, I, the Lord, have called you to righteousness. And will hold your hand. I will keep you and give you as a covenant to the people. As a light to the Gentiles. Because we choose to follow Lord Jesus. It is where that light will be sh shown, brothers, sisters. Share the word. Speak it. For it is truth. All glory to you, Lord, Father, God. For your word speaks truth. Glory in the name of your son, Jesus. Blessings.